man came to my home while all my family was there. There were seven. They came to loot my shop and tied me up. Then they took my wife and daughter and raped them. Everything happened right in front of my children. I was very angry and feared I'd get AIDS, so I kicked my wife out of the house. Four years later, I was sensitized by the They told me rape was an accident that I couldn't prevent. They pushed it to the back. Today we are friends. More than 10 years of brutal warfare have turned Eastern Congo into the great capital of the world. Five million people have died. Millions of people have died. The area is lawless. People have become known to the use of great As the Washington Post one, Women for Women International is trying to change the The program makes a special effort to train soldiers, like this former militiaman, who told us why he used to rape women. I raped because we were in the bush for many weeks without sex. When we raided villages, the women would run, and that was our opportunity. When we were going to fight, maybe 150 rebels would go with only 10 guns. Sometimes 50 of us would be killed in one battle. When we returned to our base, we talk about the fighting and how we raped the wives of our enemies to avenge our brothers' deaths. When my militia was disarmed, we were mixed with government soldiers. Since then, we have been sensitized by groups like women for women and commanders. They tell us women are our mothers and they give us life. That when you destroy women, you destroy a nation. They say women are able to do everything a man can do. The number of people who attend the meeting doesn't mean success. Success depends on how well people bring back the message to their village. We know that only 30% of the men who attend are active in local communities. If you really want to liberate women, you have to have a partnership between men and women. 
women used to try to sensitize men about rape, but the men didn't want to hear it. They considered women inferior. As the power of society is in the hands of men, we decided men must be in the program to convince other men. In our society, we have a crisis of leadership. We are pillaged by corruption. If we resuscitate women,